Welcome to another edition of Highlander News. I'm Peyton. And I'm Amber. Before we start our show, we'd like to give a shout out to the Highlander Wrestling and Gymnastics team. Congratulations, Koi Griebel, in wrestling his way to the 106 championship. Also, congratulations to the other eight state place winners. Additionally, at the state wrestling meet last weekend, the team earned second place in the team duels and third in the team individual tournament. Next, congratulations to the gymnastics team in capturing their third straight EDC championship. Good luck at the state tournament this weekend. Need a way to let your creativity take hold? This newly offered class is going to be right up your alley. Reporter Ashton Yurk shows you the class. Uh, photography animation is a class that I started uh, with my 7th and 8th graders as a pilot class. Um, and due to kind of popular demand, a lot of the students wanted it in the high school section. Um, and so this year we were offering uh, the senior high version. And in the class we do animations. So if you like watching Disney movies or anything that's animated, um, we learn how to create those. And because the class is called photography animation, you can't have one without the other. You can't have the animated movies without the photography aspect. So you have to learn those different, how to take correct photos and, and things like that. Um, I would say my favorite projects that we've done so far um, was we're going to be doing a food photography. So the students get to bring in different food items and learn how to photograph them um, to do some professional things. And I love anything stop motion. Reporting for Highlander News, this is Ashlyn Yurick. There's some competition cooking up in the kitchen. Four Highlander News reporters accepted the challenge to prepare a pasta dish in 20 minutes. Along with a variety of pasta ingredients, they also had one secret ingredient to add to their dish. Reporter Caden Lloyd brings you the event. Four contestants all had one secret ingredient. Caden had chili powder, Kira had olives, Jordan had mushrooms, and Olivia had canned spinach. Along with the secret ingredients, contestants were given different types of pasta to use, along with different types of sauces and some chicken. Chefs, you have 20 minutes and your time starts now. So we have our specialty of mac and cheese with some red sauce and some sprinkled mac and cheese sauce on it with some mushroom for decoration. Wow. Thank you. Looks interesting. <laughs> interesting is definitely the word I would use. <laughs> I'm actually getting the heebie-jeebies. I don't cooked? want to eat it. Yeah, from sauce. Uh, why, did get... why is it smelling? Do you put garlic on here? Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> um, it tastes like a five-year-old made it. Uh, I've had better. Um, I think it was just, it was brutal. <laughs> the mushrooms. We're nice. We're nice added. I think okay. you can drink the water. No, I don't. I'm not going to. Okay, ready? Oh, I mean, this or... doesn't look bad. It tastes like cardboard. <laughs> Ooh. I, I have something to say. Okay. Uh, so far with these two plates, I'm a little disappointed. That... Every plate has been cold. <laughs> Why is it cold? You can take all Pretty good presentation. I know. All right. Yeah. Mmm. Yours isn't? It's warmer than the other ones. That's not saying much. <laughs> I can officially speak for myself that I think I've tasted cat food that tastes better. If I throw up, I'm gonna be so mad. Okay, ready? Three, no, done. <laughs> two, one. I'm not, I'm not. It didn't go in, I'm not doing it. Ah! It's so salty. I know. <laughs> mm. I didn't even put it in my mouth that I can taste the salt on my lip. Oh, it's like, it's like salt Let water from the ocean. Sauce. In fourth place was Jordan because everything was cold and it was raw and it had an interesting taste. In third place was Olivia. And Daddy. It, uh, it was bad. It tasted like salt water. And the champion of VCHS Chopped is... Caden Lloyd. His dish wasn't good, 
but uh, it was better than the rest. From Highliner News, this is Caden Lloyd. Many students at VCHS are in choir, but one student goes above and beyond to pursue her singing passion. Reporter Luke Ploggins brings you the story. Taylan Mendoza has put 12 years of hard work into her vocal talents, but she has an interesting philosophy on the beauty of singing. I just like the beauty in the sounds that we all make. Like, just as a choir, when you get that feeling of everybody actually sounds good, it's, <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> While she does put a lot of effort and hard work into singing, she learns to have fun with it. One time when I was in middle school, we sang All I Want for Christmas is You by Mariah Carey, and it was really bad, but it was really fun. <laughs> that was probably one of the most fun songs I've ever done. <laughs> While graduation is coming soon, it doesn't plan to stop her music career. At VCSU, I'm going to minor in music so I can further my education there, but I don't think I really want to do much with music except just to have that under my belt It's because I just enjoy it so much. So, For Highliner News, this is Luke Ploggins. After teaching 22 years at Valley City, Mrs. Ose is preparing to retire this year. Kira Schwab gives you the story. This has been a hard decision to make because for the last 23 years, being a teacher is who I am, and so I feel like I'm losing part of my identity. It's what I've been doing for the last 23 years, and my life without this is going to be very different. Although I'm looking forward to it for many reasons, I am going to miss it immensely. Mr. Mrs. Ost has a few plans for retirement. Probably to spend a lot more time with my grandkids. I have five grandkids that live out in the western part of the state, and so I would like to spend more time out there and help my daughters out when they need help a little bit more. But I do plan on subbing because my friends are all here. Um, I will miss them a lot, and I will miss the kids a lot. Mrs. Ost will have a hard time leaving her students. Teaching first grade is very rewarding because you see so much progress and growth in this age of kids. From the time we get them in the fall at the start of the year until the time May rolls around, it's amazing that the things we learn and the things that we can do. Reporting for Highliner News, this is Kira Schwab. COVID has brought some new challenges that have become the new norm. Reporter Jace Thompson catches up with one custodian. Dalton has been helping keep VCHS clean for a couple years now. I get here about 8 o'clock every day. Um, I do the laundry for all the sports teams. And while that's going on, uh, refill Oxford bottles, the clean desks, um, the hand sanitizers all throughout the school, refill those, then just general cleaning, maybe fixing them toilet, the new handless stuff kind of malfunctions sometimes. Like it said, we got more, we have hand sanitizers all over the school now, Oxford's for every teacher that we have to check, refill, um, all the paper towels that they have for students and them to wipe off the desks, that's added. Just general night cleaning, there's more involved with wiping desks and chairs and making sure you get the underlip of things. Just a little more detailing where people will touch. Uh, favorite is do, doing the laundry. It's kind of a chill. I can turn on some music and clean and fold and do all that. Uh, the worst? Uh, it's always got to be a toilet when it's plugged. Thank you, custodians, for all you do. For Highliner News, this is Jace Thompson. There are some pretty cool shoes walking in the halls of VCHS. Reporter Carly Govan introduces you to the creator. Jared Agermont has taken up a new hobby of shoe customizing. He shares with us what sparked his interest. Our, our teacher, she had us do a wearable art project, and I always see posts on my Instagram of shoes, and I thought it would be really cool to try it out for the first time. Customizing shoes has its fun parts, as well as its difficult ones. My favorite part is just kind of talking to the person and trying to figure out a design that they like, and then seeing the final product come together and seeing that they're happy with it. 
The hardest part is probably like the positioning of the design on the shoes. Sometimes that's difficult with what they want. My first pair was my favorite pair, the Kobe ones, just because it was a really cool design and it took the longest and it was probably the most fun so far. Here's what you can do if you're interested in a pair of your own and any extra information you might need. They can contact me on my Instagram at just kicking customs and just send me a DM and we can talk about an order and what it consists of. Um, my pricing, it's typically just on like the complexity of design and how long I think it's going to take and it's, I'm pretty flexible with my pricing. Reporting for Highlander News, this is Carly Govin. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Highlander News. I'm Amber. And I'm Peyton.